I know that title sounds like clickbait, but I promise that it's not. Anchorwork just announced a Kickstarter for their brand new speakerphone, the S600. And it does two things that I've never seen in a speakerphone before, and one of them literally feels like magic. They've promised that this new speakerphone is going to change the game for professionals who work from home, and I have to say that I'm a believer. And I think by the end of this video, you will be too. So stick around. So quickly, right off the bat, I want to say thank you to Anchor for sponsoring this first look video. So I'm not going to consider this a full review, but throughout the video, I'm going to be talking very honestly about my firsthand experience using the speakerphone over the last few weeks. And I've got a ton of demos that showcase this groundbreaking new technology, so you can experience it as well. So let's talk about that technology first. And it's what Anchorwork is calling their voice print recognition, which they're saying is a biometric technology that verifies and identifies individuals based on their unique vocal characteristics. The claim here, and trust me that we're gonna test the heck out of this thing, is that when voice print is turned on, the speakerphone can automatically block any other voices except for yours, assuring that you have a clean and clear isolated voice for your phone or video meetings. This could have a huge impact on people who work from home with roommates or family members around who wanna avoid potentially embarrassing sounds getting into your calls. We'll get into the actual audio demo soon, but let's quickly go through the rest of the details about the speakerphone. So inside the box, you'll get the speakerphone itself, two USB-C cables, and an absolutely tiny little 30-watt charging brick from Anchor. I've tested a ton of speakerphones since 2020, and while most USB and Bluetooth speakerphones focus on being compact and lightweight to make them easier to travel with, Anchorwork has gone in a different direction here, aiming to provide the absolute best audio experience at your desk. Going with a unique upright design has allowed them to really improve sound quality on both the microphone and the speakers. And on that note, there's a four microphone array here at the base of the unit, which means it can pick up sound in all directions. It also has a five watt speaker that delivers solid sound in 360 degrees as well. The speakerphone also has a dual EQ mode that automatically detects if you're in a meeting where it will EQ for better voice intelligibility or listening to music where it will pull in more bass frequencies for a more fun sounding speaker experience. I've got a sound demo comparing this speaker to both my phone and laptop speakers at the end, so stick around for that. Around the back, there's a physical power button and Bluetooth pairing button, as well as two USB-C ports, one for charging and one for data for connecting to a computer. But if you're using it with a computer, you just need to connect the one data cable, which will also provide bus power to keep the unit on and charging. And quickly on that note, this thing is also battery powered and promises up to 16 hours of battery life. So that gives you a ton of flexibility of where and how you can use this thing. So you can either connect via USB or Bluetooth, or you can go with what I think is the best option for most people, which is both at the same time. That's how I've got the S600 set up at my desk, which allows me to seamlessly transition between my computer and phone for an upgraded audio experience on both devices. And it's a perfect desk accessory as well, because it features another first of its kind feature on the top here, which is a 15 watt wireless Qi 2 magnetic phone charger. Qi 2 is still very new, being first introduced in the summer of 2023, but you're going to be seeing a lot of Android phones being released with Qi 2 built in, as it's being heralded as the MagSafe for Android. That said, one thing that makes this charging protocol so exciting is that it actually supports MagSafe as well. So if you use an iPhone, you'll have no problem using this charger. I've actually just got a MagSafe case for my Samsung 23 here, and as you can see, it connects easily and super securely. The angle for this charger on top can also be adjusted up to 70 degrees with a very strong hinge, which means you'll always be able to set up the perfect viewing angle for your phone at your desk. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of that truly standout feature of the Anchorwork S600, which is the incredible noise reduction technology found inside. The first layer is an AI noise reduction model, which Anchorwork says has been trained to recognize more than 300 common noise types. We're talking about things like dogs barking, the lawnmower, leaf blowers outside, doorbells, fans, air conditioners, you get it, the common noises. This is on by default right out of the gate, and on its own, it does a really good job of isolating a voice from those common noises, as you can see here. All right, so you're going to have to bear with me on video for just a second here, because I'm using the built-in webcam of the MacBook. I've got the M1 MacBook from 2020 here, which is known to have a pretty decent microphone. And I'm also connected to the Anchorwork S600 via USB here, and it's right in front of me to the left of my laptop. So, so far you've been listening to me on the microphone of the MacBook itself, but I'm also simultaneously recording to the S600 so we can bounce back and forth as we do this test. So now you are listening to me on the Anchorwork S600, which again is right next to it, plugged in via USB. So the point of this test is to play a bunch of random noises and common sounds and just see how well the microphone in the MacBook does in comparison to the Anchorwork S600 in defeating that noise and making a clear isolated vocal. So to start, I'm just going to do a typing test on the keyboard itself. And so I'm going to pull up a web page here and I am going to just start typing and I'm talking. 
and I'm talking every once in a while and I'm just kind of typing uh, randomly. Because one thing that I that really bothers me is when you're using a built-in microphone on a laptop, if someone is typing, it just comes through so clearly. So let's hear how those two compare as we went back and forth. All right, so for our next few tests, I'm going to be playing sounds from YouTube on my desktop over here. It's a separate computer. I'll be playing sounds out those speakers to simulate the types of loud sounds that you might have in a working from home environment to see how well the MacBook microphone does in comparison to the AnchorWork S600. So first of all, we're gonna start with a loud fan. Okay, so the first sound that we're testing here is a loud fan noise, and it's pretty loud. As you can see, I've got it on YouTube here, and it's playing through my speakers. It's pretty loud, so as we're switching back and forth, you can look at the bottom of the screen of which one you're listening to. We're gonna switch back and forth between the MacBook and then the S600 to hear how it does with that loud fan noise. Next, let's go to a lawnmower. All right, so now we've got a lawnmower going, and it's about the same sound volume uh, when my my guy is mowing right outside my shed here because I, I, I work in a shed in my backyard, so it's quite noisy. So let's say you even had a window open. That's about the volume here. Um, so switching back and forth again between the MacBook microphone and the S600. Next, let's go to dogs barking. All right, so now we are listening to some dogs barking, and my, those dogs are barking. This is a very loud, high-pitched dog, and now it's a lower sound dog. Thank you, YouTube, for just having hours and hours of just sounds available to borrow. I've got this turned up very loud. I feel like I have to, like, talk over it. Like, this is uh, legit the volume of my dog when he's barking. Not all at the same time. I only have one dog, but uh, we're listening to dogs barking, and how does that sound on the MacBook? How does that sound on the AnchorWork S600? So that's pretty great. And honestly, on its own, it would be a huge help for me and lots of others to work from home. But that's just general noise reduction, which let's be honest, programs like Zoom do a pretty good job at already. The truly game-changing feature is that voice print technology. And the way that it works is when you first set up the speakerphone with the included app, you're asked to read a prompt out loud, and then the speakerphone uses AI locally on the device itself to analyze your specific voice's biometric data, which then in turn allows what I can only describe as actual magic. So in real time here, let's actually go in and set up that voice print right now. So I've got my phone up with the AnchorWork app, and I've got the speakerphone right here. And you can see that it wants us to record in a quiet environment, preferably with the doors and windows closed and the air conditioning turned off. So really trying to get that, um, that isolated vocal so it can get the best test. Uh, keep at least 50 centimeters away from your AnchorWork S600 when recording. And then when recording, click the record button and pause for one second before reading. It will take about 35 seconds to complete the recording. And it wants me to read the reference text at a normal speed and as loud and clear as possible. The sun hung low in the sky, casting a warm golden hue over the tranquil landscape. Birds chirped softly in the distance as a gentle breeze rustled through the leaves. The serene atmosphere was interrupted by the distant sound of laughter, adding to the peaceful ambiance. A sense of contentment filled the air, inviting a moment of quiet appreciation for the beauty of nature's simple pleasures. As the day progressed, the shadow grew longer, and the colors of the sky deepened. Evening approached steadily, bringing a gradual calmness to the surroundings. The trees swayed gently in the fading light, creating a soothing rhythm. Recording successful. So it's just that simple. I hit done, and there it is. It says that my voice print is in there. You can see it. And now you'll see that when I'm in the app, it's got a toggle to turn the voice print recognition on or off. And additionally, on the device itself, there's a little green button that tells you if it's on. And if I turn that off, you can turn it off and it will display that in the app as well. So I could think of no better way to test this feature more effectively than trying to have a meeting with my kids sitting literally next to me. So enjoy this clip I filmed earlier today. So now we're doing a demo inside of the dining room and we're showing that the four mic array can pick up people from any side or if you walk around the, mic, the, the microphone, the speakerphone, you can also be picked up. So right now we have voice print recognition turned off, which means everyone can be heard. Yeah. Yeah. So when I talk to you, my son's name, and our dog can, might be able to be heard as well. But when I talk to you, my son's name, what, uh, what's on your shirt? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. And do you like Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Great. I, have, I love rainbow. <laughs> I have your, my, your favorite color. What's my favorite color? Black. Oh, okay. Is that my favorite color? Um, I have a black sweater. I, I have a black sweater. <laughs> black? My pants are not black. My, my pants are black. My pants are black. Back down? Now we're going to go ahead and turn on. It takes a second to kick in. But now it's kicked in, and you can see that it's recording my voice.
Yeah, so you're talking right now, but it's not oh. picking up your voice because the voice print is on. And I trained the voice print model on my voice, so it's only listening for me. And when you're talking, it's not picking up. But when I talk, it is picking up. Can you see how that might? I know. Can you imagine why that might be beneficial? If you, if I was working from home in here and my coworkers didn't want to see, you kissed me? That's very nice. Thank you. Oh, double kisses. You guys are very sweet. So yeah, that's the voice print technology at work here around a table in a very challenging uh, potential call environment. So uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and sync this audio up afterwards and we'll be able to listen to it all, right? You see what I mean? It's magic, right? I've done a bunch of these tests on my own over the past few weeks and it blows my mind every single time. I'm, I'm not joking. Something you may have picked up here is that there's a color LED ring around the base of the unit that lights up blue when you're speaking. You can turn that feature off if you want, but what I like about it is that it's a great visual indicator when voice print is turned on of when your microphone is actually being transmitted and more importantly, when it's not. This ring also lights up red when you press the microphone mute button and gives visual feedback when turning the volume up and down as well. So I found that to be a pretty well thought out design. So that's the microphone side, which is definitely the standout feature here. But how does the speaker sound? In short, it's good. It's about on par with most small Bluetooth speakers I've tested in the past with maybe a little more bass response than average. It sounds excellent for Zoom calls and online meetings and really decent as well for listening to music or watching a quick video when I need a little break in between meetings as well. On that note, another benefit of the magnetic mount and that upright orientation of the X600 is that it puts my phone right within reach wherever I need it. So it's really easy to quickly respond to text, check my calendar, or quickly look something up on my phone on my desk, and then quickly spin that magnetic mount, puts it into landscape mode to watch a quick video, or vice versa. Here's a quick sound comparison between the speakers on my phone, then the MacBook, and lastly the Anchorwork S600 that I recorded with the Zoom H4n Pro. For this demo, I've maxed out the volume on all three devices, so just a word of warning, the audio is going to get louder as we go through each device. So that's the Anchorwork S600 speakerphone, and I am still buzzing about all the ways that this will help people like me who work from home with other people around. Starting today, this device is live on Kickstarter with some special discounts of up to 45% off retail when you pre-order. So check down in the description if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself. All right, that's it for this one. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.